What are your takeaways? Um, you know, I, I had said that I wanted to hear, I wanted to see that defense. That was one of the things I was listening out for. We heard it in day one. But what are your takeaways from the two days of joint practice? We're not going to see any of the regulars in the preseason game. No, you're not going to see them against the Eagles, and I don't know if you'll see much of them in the final one with the Chiefs. So they looked at these two days as being the apex of training camp. And those two days of practice is when they really wanted the ones to go against the ones of the Eagles and to be able to measure up where they stood. This team went to the Super Bowl last year. They had the number one defense in the NFL, I believe. And the offense, I think, had some problems against the Eagles defense. But I think the Browns defense played pretty well and stacked up pretty well against the Eagles offense, which is pretty good in its own right. So I think the Browns are closing the gap from what they did last year, but I think that's a good standard. You know, if you got the best team in the NFC, at least on paper and projections for this year, that if you can play with them, you know where you're at and you know your shortcomings. And so with a month before the season, even if you're struggling on the offensive side of the ball, I think it allows you to tune up and get ready, get everybody healthy, and be ready to go September 10th when the regular season kicks off. And keep in mind, the, the offense that the Browns are going to run this year drastically different than what they ran last year. So some of, the, some of that is you know, the learning curve to get Deshaun Watson comfortable with what Kevin Stefanski and, and those guys are going to do um, this year as well.